Hello, I'm Melly. And I'm Martin. And today we're on the trail of one of Scotland's hidden gems. Very hidden. You know, no signs, no directions. Will we find it? It's a question. Yeah. Mm. It's all guesswork. It certainly is. Come and see if we do. Who knows? instructions on how to get to this place mm. and no signage um, and we've abandoned the car as you can see it's just behind us just abandoned on the side of the road and we're heading um, for what we think might be the path which is just a little truck little track oh well it really is a mystery tour it is indeed So this um, hidden gem that we're going to is on private property. It isn't signposted. As we said, we have picked a path. We've guessed. <laughs> Hopefully it's the right one. We'll find out. If not, we'll pick another one. <laughs> yeah, go on. <laughs> but um, under Scotland's laws, there's the Right to Roam Act. So you are actually allowed to wander around anybody's private property. <laughs> Um, as long as you don't damage it in any way. Um, so uh, we've been very careful. Hopefully, we have seen somebody else yep. with a camera. So hopefully we have picked the right path. But we'll find out in a, a short while. And then we can tell you where it is we're heading off to. Yeah. That's so Yeah. We've heard there may be bears in this forest. Two! Two bears! Hello! <laughs> Made it. 
we found the right path, didn't we? We did. It was just yeah. luck than judgment, really. Yeah. But you did actually pick the right path. And behind us, you can just see in the distance, if we duck down a bit, we'll duck up. Camera up, there we go. This is Craigmin Bridge, not far from Bucky. Yeah, it's really interesting. Please. Craigmin Bridge is one of Scotland's architectural gems and was built in the early 1770s as a crossing to get over to the Letifuri House, which was built around about the same time. Um, there are quite a few rumours about it. There's even rumour to have a ghost. <gasps> oh, Halloween! <laughs> I'm not coming back in the dark to see if no. there is a ghost. It is quite an eerie setting, um, but it's, it's a beautiful setting nonetheless. And anyway, we made it. Hope you enjoy it. If you look upwards from the bottom of the sloping banks of the Letterfury Burn, you might think that you can see a skeletal face peering at you through the trees. In fact, what you see is the interesting and quirky architectural gem that is Craigmin Bridge. The bridge crosses the picturesque burn within the grounds of Letterfury House, a fine Georgian mansion just a short distance from the seaside town of Bucky in Merryshire. The bridge dates back to the 1770s and is thought to have been designed by the Scottish neoclassical architect Robert Adam. We know that Robert Adam designed the house, however there are no surviving papers or drawings to support the theory that he also designed and built the upper bridge at Craig Min. But they were built at around the same time and the bridge has long been attributed as being Robert Adam's work. Um, there's a rumour that one of Prince Charlie stayed in this little underground room which is built into the bridge um, on his way back from Culloden in 1745. However, it's not thought that this bridge was built until like 30 years later in the 1770s. So that might be a bit of a dubious rumour. Craigmin Bridge's design is striking. There is a lower single arched bridge on top of which has been built a second twin arched bridge. It is generally thought that the lower bridge may have been built earlier and that the upper bridge was built on top of it at a later date, presumably to allow horses and carts better access to Letterfury House. Indeed, the lower bridge doesn't seem wide enough for carts and it is situated quite far down the steep sloping banks of the burn which would make it difficult for carts to navigate. The upper twin arch bridge makes an interesting and architectural feature and is a great place to explore. The middle section has two rounded windows offering fabulous views of the burn from both directions. why they put a second bridge on top of this first original bridge. There is a theory that um, it might have been because it was slightly too narrow or too steep even for horses and carts. Um, it's not really known but it certainly makes an interesting place to explore. It certainly does. Mm. Craigming Bridge is accessed from the village of Drybridge near Bucky in Murrayshire. There are no signs to tell you where to go 
but you can park your car for free in the village. We followed our noses and walked for about half a mile along a woodland track and found it quite easily. A quick internet search told us that this woodland path used to be a fairy dell, where you could look for fairy doors and houses hidden in the trees. But we didn't see any fairies. Sadly, they've long since moved out of these woods. So it was um, one of our friends that told us about this, this bridge, um, which is a Category A listed structure for buildings at risk in Scotland. So it's a very significant bridge, because otherwise it wouldn't be on that list. Um, but it isn't on a map, it isn't signposted, there's no directions, it's local knowledge. And honestly, it, if it wasn't for one of our friends telling us, we wouldn't have even looked for it. We wouldn't have known about wouldn't it. wouldn't have known about it. Nope. What a well, marvellous place. It does need a bit of upgrading. Mm, <laughs> yes. Quite a bit of work, really. Um, but but let's hope it gets it. Yeah. Because yeah. Yeah. Mm. it's fabulous. Is so it? thank you, Dorothy. For telling us about this bridge. Thank you. There we are. Hope you've enjoyed your little wander around Craigmin Bridge. Mm. What a lovely place. It is. Definitely not a bridge too far. No. And it is one of Scotland's architectural gems. Hidden. Hidden. <laughs> Very hidden. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you next time. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Bye.